It was the war that pitted father against son, brother against brother, and brought the nation to its knees. While it waged, a nation was nearly torn in half, but one state actually was Virginia. West Virginia is a state born from a nation torn. The issue of slavery ripped at the very fabric of the nation and left the Commonwealth of Virginia divided as well. The mountainous regions of Western Virginia underrepresented in Virginia state government were further divided by political inequality. Perhaps the most incendiary of the events connected with the issue of slavery leading up to the war took place on what is now West Virginia soil with the seizure of the federal arsenal at Harpers Ferry in 1859 by abolitionist John Brown. It was the only federal arsenal ever captured and Brown's intent of arming slaves thrust the South into a panic over the possibility of a slave uprising. The American Civil War was unlike any before, shaped by modern railroad networks, progressive weaponry, and advanced communications abilities. From the outset of the war, both the Union and the Confederate governments endeavored to hold Western Virginia because of its valuable natural resources, its productive cattle industry, and the strategic section of the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. The b and Railroad transversed the eastern and northern sections of the state and was the major transportation link between the western states and the eastern theater. Hundreds of thousands of Union troops were transported along this strategic line, a constant target of Confederate guerrilla warfare for much of the war. As we commemorate the 150th anniversary of the Civil War, we invite you to explore West Virginia's riveting history and tumultuous birth, told through nine distinct regions. West Virginia is the Union state with the most Civil War battles, including 15 major engagements and over 30 raids, as well as many important related skirmishes. Experience the first military campaign of the war, which includes several major actions. Follow Union General George B. McClellan as his troops cross the Ohio River in June and July of 1861 to secure Western Virginia for the Union. Discover the birthplace of Confederate General Thomas Jonathan Stonewall Jackson in Clarksburg, West Virginia, widely regarded as one of the greatest commanders of the war. Learn of the war's first casualty, Union Private T. Bailey Brown, who was buried in the Grafton National Cemetery, and of Lucy Bagby the last slave returned under the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850 in Wheeling. Relive the first land engagement of the war, which took place in Philippi, a victory for the Union, where Confederate J.E. Hanger became the war's first amputee. Confederate Robert S. Garnett, the first general to be killed in the war, fell at Parsons. Visit the McNutt House, where Colonel Rutherford B. Hayes and Sergeant William McKinley, who would become U.S. presidents, both were headquartered. West Virginia entered the Union on June 20, 1863, as the 35th state. Arthur I. Borman, the first governor of the newly formed West Virginia, called her the child of the rebellion. <laughs>